So when we're talking about neural pathways, kind of try to imagine like neurons, brain cells, literally connecting with each other, not touching, not holding hands, but still signaling and communicating with other neurons. You could kind of think of it like a dog that's run a path around your house and he just always runs that path and there it is, it's so hard to grow grass there. Or maybe you go sledding and there's a snow path. People have been sledding before you and it's hard to break out of that trail to get your sled down the hill. So you end up going and following the same path before. And that's kind of what can happen in our brain, that we get into ha habitual ways of thinking or habitual reactions to circumstances and we become pretty stuck in those ways. And yet the Bible offers us something different because some of those neural pathways aren't serving us well. Some of them are actually contrary to God's will for our lives or you being happy. And he wants to get us unstuck. And in Ezekiel 36, he talks about this amazing transformation that he can do in our hearts and our minds. A new heart, he says, he wants to give us and a new spirit he wants to put within us. Elsewhere, he talks about, you know, writing his law in our hearts and his minds. And that can happen at any age.